Hey guys, back with another Season 10 Gameplay Guide. Guys, we're going to cover Kane today in the jungle. Hopefully, we got any help from the Garen at all. No, we're not getting any help from the Garen. <laughs> we're not getting any help. Okay, this top lane is not really that helpful. Anyways, uh, you can find the 4 ruins full build, the best setup for Season 10, Kane. You can find all of that in the description below, as well as in the comment section. And I don't know why my buttons are different right now. There we go, that's much better. Okay, I'm gonna try to go this camp, take everything, and then go to the golems, take that as well, and then go for like a level 3 gang top lane. This is an extremely powerful uh, Kane strategy. Basically starting off with the red buff first, and then taking the, uh, the camp right there, and then immediately going to the golem right here, and smite that out, get the level 3, and then rush top lane immediately. This strategy on the cane is extremely overpowered and underestimated by everyone. There we go. Man, the fact that we didn't get any help by Garen is so sad because we're actually like... We lost all our potions and stuff due to that. Okay, now we can actually gank this lane immediately. Watch this. He doesn't see this coming yet. Oh, he did actually. He placed a ward down. Alright. No problem. I could walk. Uh, I I could walk all around and gank him again. Okay, hold on. That's kind of unfortunate. I wish it could have been better. I I wish Garen helped us before. Anyways, guys, remember the best setup for Kane. You can find all of that in the description, guys. Let's go. Now is the opportunity to gank top lane, get a free kill. I just had to walk all around. Sweet. Great. Oh, he actually flashed that way. We got him here. Yep. Sweet. Garen gets the kill, so he's going to snowball a little bit easier. Here's the thing, guys. If you're doing the Kane strategy, getting all these uh, camps so quick and so fast. Oh, Kane. I, I mean, that's good up in here. If you're doing the strategy and people do decide to place an award right here. You can still counter it by walking all around the wall. By doing that, you know that they don't have any vision. You should be able to get like a kill for free. Like you can only have one single ward in the early game. And if you put it right there, and they and you know it that he put it right there, just walk all around. You get you will most likely get a kill for free. So I'm gonna get this here. Walk my way back to the to the golem and then take it all of that as well and then make my way back. I still have the blue buff to take, actually. I might as well just walk up to all these camps right here, take everything, and then go back to base, complete my item, and then, like, be insanely strong. Oh, he's been here. He's been here before. He's probably taken my blue buff already. Yeah, he's taken everything. No problem. That's no problem for us, guys. There's nothing to worry about at all. In fact, we've actually done a lot of stuff right now. So, the jungle item that I usually go for on Kane is actually, uh, let me get it, is this one into this one. Great. I'm also going to buy a ward. So, you can actually buy this one. This is a really good jungle item if you're going for the full lethality Kane. But if you're actually going for the other transform, which I highly recommend, like I always recommend the other form. I always recommend going for this item into the black lever and stacks gauge that's the core build that you want to go for on Kane, pretty much sweet we're going to take all of this and then walk our way top lane immediately and hopefully get some good kills from the on set still have two potions so this is no problem for me okay let's gank top lane there's no ward here. Dodge that one. Smite it out. And just W right here. We should be able to get a kill. Yep. Garen gets the kill once again. But that's great. Because even though we only get an assist. Garen is getting the kills. He's going to win the lane against Set pretty hard. And like knowing that Set is only good in the early game. That's actually going to make Garen like skill very well and win it very hard. 
Seth can only carry the lane. Seth will fall behind after the lane phase is done, pretty much. At a certain point in the game. I could gank. Let's go. Mm, no, I'm not gonna bother. My red buff is up in about 5 seconds from now. I want to keep on playing around top lane because Sad is extremely aggressive right now. And the dragon is not really that important so far. Like this dragon, in my opinion, it's not really that important. I might as well just stay, stick around top lane because Garen... Like once Garen gets ahead, he can snowball really easy. Nice. This camp right here is spawning up very soon as well. I might as well take this one for myself too. Soon I'll be able to get my jungle item and after I get that one, after I actually complete it, like the game is going to be so easy. I don't want to smite it. Oh, like honestly. But I will. Just to be faster. Wanna gank the lane? Keep on camping top lane over and over again. Okay. This time we're not able to uh, actually kill him, but it's going. To, it's it's actually fine. I need just a little bit more for my uh, upcoming jungle item. <clears throat> the dragon has been taken by Kazix. He's been playing mainly around bot lane, but like we've been able to get Garen ahead, so it's all worth it. Sweet, get this one. Now I can go back top once more. Uh, top lane doesn't really look that gank worthy. I'm just gonna go back to base right now. Or actually, I need one more camp. I'll just get that. For some reason, I thought I need 1150. For some reason. I'll get my last camp, walk back top lane, completely win top lane, get the tower done for it. That's gonna be the main priority right now. We've made top lane win extremely hard this game just by camping top lane over and over again. You can get so far just by camping like a winning condition lane. Sweet, now we can actually go back first though. I want to make sure he actually... He didn't take my blue buff, huh? Alright, sweet. Awesome, I like that. Now we can actually go back. Alright, so when you're when you're playing Kane guys, you always want to gank lanes that have the winning condition. All the time. You don't ever want to gank lanes that are weak, that don't win the lane. You always want to play around the champions that will snowball throughout the game. Don't waste time on champions that cannot do that much. For instance, like a rumble is really nice to gank, I'd say, into a Cho'Gath. It's pretty nice. It's not that bad. But why would I gank Midnight all the time if I can literally push Garen ahead and make him win extremely hard into Zed? He's got the winning condition. For those who cannot see in the dark. We can fight him pretty easily. Yep. Thank you very much. Kane is a lot stronger than Kha'Zix once Kane is like a little bit ahead. So we got that Kane down. We can also walk top lane right now. Get this guy down as well. I'm gonna wait for him to be a little bit more low. Dodge that one. Actually, he literally won Fetuses right now. Okay, we... we this is worth it. I may have actually died, which is really surprising to me, to be honest. But we got that kill, and we can now use the transform to get the Durkin. That's exactly what we want. So, we're going to buy the Black Lever here. Sweet. We're going to transform it into Kane. Now, this is the point in the game where I outskill Kha'Zix completely, where he doesn't really stand a chance anymore. This is like the point where we can snowball extremely hard. We already have two kills and we're already doing pretty decent, but now it's going to get better. Yep, let's go. 
We can find him pretty easily. Got him. Cal6 is here too. He's right there. Walking off to the to the camp. I'm gonna start counter jungling from now on because we're like so far ahead. With multiple assists and everything. Sweet. I'm gonna get this camp here over here too. Awesome. Bot lane looks really gank worthy right now. The AD carry is coming too. We could even want to do them, I think. Oh no, I mean, they have a bard. Huh, he's right there. Okay, let's go. We can fight him so easily, guys. See we have so many assists this game. We can find him too. Mm. I need to get that dragon right now. The thing is, we have multiple assists. We have like two kills right now. But the main priority right now is this dragon. Because this one actually matters quite a bit if, in terms of like, like fighting. K6 is down right now. So this should be like a free dragon. Also, top lane is completely destroying the set because of the camp which we've done earlier. Like, we've got the top lane winning right now. We actually got bot lane and we completely got the dragon and also winning the bot lane right now. We've done so much in this game already that allows my team to snowball. We got that camp right there. Gonna get this one too. Now it's just a matter of farming everything up and then just looking for the uh, for the snowball. Farming the, uh, up the entire jungle and then see if we can snowball a little bit throughout the game. I might as well just smite it out. Because there's nothing to smite for. There we go. Cassix makes no chance against me anymore from now. Got that one. I'm like a massive full clear. Might as well just smite it. Perfect. Okay, now we can actually go back. Grab, uh, or actually, we could even go for the Ninja Tabis, but I'm going to wait a little bit for that. I'll straight up go for the Black Cleaver. I will immediately get the uh, uh, the Kindle Gem already because that allows me to have less cooldown on my Q. I'm going to wait a little bit for my boots because I'm going to get the Mercs later on. Because they have like a Cho'Gath. They have like a lot of champions in the game who have a massive amount of CC. And the old, like the best way to counter that is by going Mercs. I'm going to get the blue buff right here. And then uh, they're going to mass like they're going to snowball really hard. Let's go. Like all pinging. I know. Okay, here we go. It's time to snowball really hard right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, it's pretty much a winning game right now. Garen is winning extremely hard because of us and now we're winning bot lane here as well like we completely carried the entire game right now there's no problem for me so. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> all right we might even be able to get this kill right here Got him. See ya. That's so much fun about Kane. You have so much life still. <laughs> with, the, with the jungle item and everything. So nice. That's going to be the game already.
This is pretty much the fastest game I've had on Kane in a while, actually. Like, most people don't surrender at 50 minutes. Well, that was actually really fast. <laughs> Alright, so... The cage strategy that we've used in the early game, where we get the red buff into um, into the camp on the on the bottom, I call I always call it the raids, but it's not raids anymore. But anyways, red into the raids into the golems, doing your E like moving all over the wall. It's extremely overpowered on uh, on Kane because you can clear the camps so fast that you actually get level you actually get to level three before the three minute mark in the game so basically two minutes 30 seconds in game you already get your level three you can walk topside immediately and you can you can get a kill for free most people will not expect you doing that most people also expect you to like once you get your red buff at level one they expect you to walk down to the blue buff that's pretty much what most of the junglers do but with kane that's a complete different story kane is being like, the jungle path of Kane is just completely different. As for the transformation, I always recommend going for the Darken, the red one. I always call, consider going for that one, even if the enemy team doesn't really have any kind of tanks. Well, you could go for the other one if they don't have any tanks, but generally, I still recommend people to always go for K. It's just much better. The red one is always much better, most of the time. Unless they really have no tanks at all and, like... They're easy to kill. I'd say go for the blue one. But outside of that, red the red one is always the best. Anyways, uh, I'm pretty, sure, pretty much showing you guys the way how to jungle. Hopefully you guys have learned something. Also, team fighting and everything. Thank you so much for watching today. Hopefully you guys have learned something. And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, four wounds full build in the description. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.